Okay, go. Go. Right now. Hello, I'm Vanessa Krumholtz, and I am your sponsor for parkbench.com forward slash Wyckoff, New Jersey, where you can get to know everything that's going on in Wyckoff, including getting to meet our local business owners. I have with me today Antonella Romano of the Stone and Tile Emporium. She is, I would say, the Stone and Tile queen <laughs> and quite an expert. So Antonella, tell me, how did you choose this beautiful store in Wyckoff? Well, um, I actually drove by it when my mom was alive, mm -hmm. right before she passed. And I remember we were looking for a, a building, a design studio, and we drove past this. It was not for sale, but remember mom making a comment that it reminded her of the Hamptons. Mm -hmm. So uh, after she passed away, I actually came in here because it was a gift shop. I, I saw that there was a, a um, nativity set on sale. So I came in to buy it and then found out the building was for sale. Uh, so long story short, uh, it was fortuitous that um, it, it ended up being for sale. I purchased it and the rest is history. And it's very homey. It's from the 1800s. Oh wow. It was uh, the post office at the turn of the century. Huh. And then it became, I believe it was the switch <coughs> the switchboard operator uh, placed back in the 30s and 40s. And then after that, it's always been uh, a doll, doll stores and boutiques. So it has a really nice history and has a good vibe. And I fell in love with it. That is so interesting that your mother didn't know it was for sale. No, we yet. happened to be driving around wow. um, because she had friends in the area. And then she made a comment about the porch and the columns and how calming it was yeah and then it turned out that it was for sale wow. but I didn't find the nativity set until after she died but once I saw that it was for sale um, I made an offer and uh, by January of 2005 I owned it Wow <laughs> <laughs> what was that first day like when you it was yours you moved everything in and you were open for business it was amazing we were working on that mural on the floor and I had the tileman basically installing all the floors and my first client walked in that day and we weren't even open yet and she was building a home her husband was a big Wall Street guy she was doing this huge project and somehow I landed the project before I actually opened Oh <laughs> so it was it was a it was a really nice um, I, I guess it was a nice vibe and it was a almost like a good luck charm yeah. <laughs> she was a good luck charm what a great so like, was, start too it was, yeah it was because I'm sure you were a little bit nervous or right like that first day yeah. you're like okay what's gonna happen and well then... I've worked in the industry for years but right. having my own boutique shop it it's different it's different and for years I listened to my father say You'll never know the feeling of what it feels like to turn the key and, and get that sensation of something being yours. And when I, when I bought this building, yes, I had that sensation mm -hmm. of, you know, turning that key every morning and feeling that satisfaction. It's not the same when, when you're working for someone else or you're working, you know, for your family's business because you didn't start it. Right. And there's a satisfaction in that. Don't you agree? Yeah, I mean, I'm you know have my own business as a realtor, so that for me is very satisfying. And your new website? Yeah, <laughs> parkbench.com. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So your father started you in the business, yes. and you were a young. I was nine. Wow. I was nine when I was out measuring tiles and handing him the, you know, the tiles on job sites and mm -hmm. going on installs. He wanted a boy, and I was a girl, so he raised me like a boy. Wow. Hence, you know, my job. <laughs> well, lucky he did. And so what is your favorite part of the process when you work with a new client? I, you know, for me, it's not about the money. It is about the satisfaction and the relationship. Mm -hmm. And the, the client at the end of the job, when she's happy and she, you change people's lives when you give them something that they've dreamed of. There's 
something to say about, you know, doing something, hearing the client. You have to hear what they want. It's not like walking into my showroom and I tell them, pick what you want. Sometimes they don't know what they want. Mm -hmm. So you, you almost have to listen and look at their photos of magazine ripouts that they've had for 10 years, mm -hmm. you know, planning their dream house. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're not aware of where they're, where they're kind of going to, the process, and, and, and sometimes you, you have to figure out what they want. And once, they, once you show them the right thing, they know it. I mean, everybody knows when something is right. Mm -hmm. And so my job is to show them different products. But more importantly, what I do is I take them through the process, mm -hmm. but I lay out, after I go to the house, I lay out the bathroom. I lay out, I lay out the walls and the floors, and we measure, we determine where the plumbing goes. Mm -hmm. um, in a backsplash, we determine, we determine how big of a mural we're going to need. You know, how much detail we want. What do the cabinets look like? So, I happen to like to draw. Yeah. So, the first thing I do, I go to the house and I have my, my trusty ruler, and I have my trusty, I've had this pad since a junior year in college. The same pad? This pad Amazing. was given to me by my drafting teacher. Mm -hmm. It's German and it allows me to, so it allows me to go into a home and kind of sketch out, you know, kind of sketch out somebody's backsplash and keep the straight lines and talk about subways and talk about how how things are going to get laid out mm -hmm. you know a picture frame and where the where the accents are going to be so all of all of these things once i go to the house i will express in a in a line drawing what i see in my head right then I come back to the store, I start putting the actual materials in play to my concept. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a kitchen or a bathroom, I come back and I start selecting you know, a tile or a product that I think will be in sync with what the client has told me that mm -hmm. she wants. And so I, I take all of that, I select several different options. Mary Lou, as you met upstairs, mm -hmm. she does my CAD drawings, and she takes my sketches and she turns them into these drawings, as you saw. Right. A client comes in, and now she is offered several different concepts to her project. Mm -hmm. So it could be one bathroom, it could be a kitchen. You know, the budget doesn't matter to me because I have learned working in this industry for so long that it doesn't matter if a client comes in to spend $500 or $50,000, you treat them the same. Because tomorrow, they may have a whole house project. So you mm -hmm. really cannot judge. I have to say it's the same for me. Yeah, you, you, you cannot, know, you cannot. refer you to somebody or whatever. Yep. And yeah, everybody is, everybody's equal in that respect. I, I, I've always felt that mm -hmm. and it's paid off because mm -hmm. clients come in, sometimes they're selling a home, as you know, mm -hmm. and they have to fix it up to sell. Mm -hmm. And then you may not see them for a year or two, and then if they're happy with that tiny project you did for them, and you treated them as if it were a whole house project, mm -hmm. they'll come back and they'll give you that whole house. Mm -hmm. That's not why I do it. I do it because essentially I'm a people person, and I do enjoy, and I, receive satisfaction from my job. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not about the bottom line for me. And so when somebody walks into my store, they get immediate help. They're not wandering in here aimlessly. Right. There's four or five girls in here. Somebody will always say, can I help you? Mm -hmm. And then take you through the process. Right. 
and if they like, I will gladly pay them a home visit. There is uh, no charge for that mm -hmm. if they're dealing with <coughs> Right. I know you did come to my house <laughs> and she did my kitchen floor and she came and she had a great idea for doing a herringbone style with the wood tile that we were interested in. and. I get so many compliments on my kitchen floor. It's amazing. Well, it's beautiful. And hopefully soon we'll do our bathrooms, so we'll be yeah. back. <laughs> so you see what I mean. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it's it's very, you know, it's satisfying. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk briefly about Wyckoff and what's so wonderful about the town of Wyckoff. Tell me your favorite lunch spot, because I know you're right here. There's a lot of restaurants around. My favorite lunch spot is Cafe Amici. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> I have to agree. It's so good. The uh, the owner Brett, he just makes you feel at home every mm -hmm. time. Um, there's something about that place. It just and my little girl, she's always at mommy. Can we go to Cafe Amici? <laughs> they make the best mac and cheese for her and, <laughs> and yeah. chicken fingers. So she's happy. And they're not. It's a. It's kind of an upscale restaurant, but they're okay with your kids being there because I've gone and many times with my. Table. It's and they're farm to table. Everything is organic. It's amazing. So and you and I'm always seeing clients. So right. there's not one time that I'm sitting there that I don't bump into someone who's saying, "Oh my God, my backsplash looks so great," or mm -hmm. "Can you come see me? My my bathroom needs to be redone." So it's it's it's, it's almost a it's <laughs> almost a, a family place. And yeah. because I work a lot with local clients. You can't help but run into people at Marshall's, at mm -hmm. Cafe Amici, stop and shop. at Stop and Shop, at Aldo's, at the mm -hmm. Brick House. So yeah. there's there's so much in this town. There's so much, I think, family and warmth. There's a lot of towns in this area that are very, as you know, um, you know, frou frou. Yeah. And, yeah. And this town people has, more keep to themselves, but I feel like there's such a great community here. Yeah. And I mean, you have the amazing schools, you have so many great parks, you have Atmos Farm, which is really amazing. Oh, I Atmos my Farm, my daughter went to camp at Atmos Farm. Oh, really? She went to farm camp. Amazing, I didn't she, know they had that. She went to camp from June until the end of August, oh. and she learned how to plant tomatoes, she learned how to grow vegetables. She's actually eating vegetables that she never used to eat because of Atmos Farm Camp. Wow. They, they, they give them their own little plot, Right. And they're planting and they're seeing the fruits of their labor. Mm -hmm. So they want to eat it, of course. It, they want to eat it and it's it, it's been it's been great. Oh wow, I didn't it's know been about great. that. Yeah, and then That's there's St. Elizabeth mm -hmm. in town where where I send my daughter. Mm -hmm. And in fact we just have uh, we just yesterday we delivered a medallion uh, on their floor uh, that we're we're donating to the church uh, because it is uh, St. Elizabeth this week. Um, oh, that's so, amazing. so we are um, giving back to the community. That's great. Uh, that's very important. I agree. That is very important, and um, and we just, in fact, we we just installed this. Oh my God! We're just installing. So... We're just installing this. Can you see that? Well, my iPad at home. That's okay. We can also we'll put it down in the yeah. underneath the video also. Yeah. I'll send so, you pictures. Um, so there's. So how do people find you? What's the best way to find you? Word of mouth is really. Okay. Um, Tell me your social media so, accounts. So I have Instagram, Facebook. Mm -hmm. I also write for the record. So in the homescape section of the record newspaper, awesome. I write an article called "The Tile Commandments." Amazing. <laughs> and it's. I've been writing since 2000. 2011 mm -hmm. now, so it's wow. been quite a, quite some time. Oh, that's cool. And um, it started as a Q&A, mm -hmm. and then it kind of went to writing about pretty much anything from bathrooms to kitchens to you know commercial projects. Right. And I usually start out by telling a personal story, mm -hmm. um, some kind of experience that I've had working. If it's a backsplash, I'll talk about my backsplash when I grew up. Right. Or my backsplash of, of uh, mosaics when I lived in Italy. Wow. So, and then I go into the technical explanation and then the material explanation. So, and uh, it has my picture in it. So, I find a lot of people around town uh, stop me and they say, "Oh, you're the girl from the article yeah. in the the record. I love reading your article. It's sometimes funny. Mm -hmm. uh, like one time, I had an argument with a contractor because." I guess he didn't know who I was and he didn't know I had experience and so he 
he asked me, how do you know that this is the right way? What do you know about tile? And oh, no. I turned into I turned oh, no. <laughs> I turned into Marisa Tomei in my cousin Vinny. Yes. Like really? Like, do you know who I am? <laughs> And it's imagine. like my father was a tile man, my uncles are tile guys, my my yeah. whole family's in the tile business in Florence. Hello. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> and so and so I went into a rant, so I wrote about it. Yeah. And so I wrote exactly what I just told you. Right. And um, it's funny, I got a lot of comments on social media and they said, You were hysterical. <laughs> like you that was the funny I wish I had that on video. <laughs> <laughs> I would upload it right after this. <laughs> So so yeah so I enjoy I enjoy writing yeah and that's something that I give back and yeah. I don't get paid for it right. it's just something that I enjoy doing it gives me exposure and it lets me express myself so people really know the heart what's in my heart because yeah. I talk about myself I talk about my work and I talk about the joys of seeing a job well done amazing. So. Well, for everybody who's watching, we'd like to offer you a special uh, for coming to see Antonella. So what would you like to offer? Well, uh, for starters, I will offer a free at-home visit uh, if you see this video and you give me a call. And of course, we will extend to you a 20% discount with your purchase. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> so if you guys need any tile or stone work, please come see Antonella at the Stone and Tile Emporium. Call me. <laughs> in Wyckoff. <laughs> you can find me parkbench.com forward slash Wyckoff, Vanessa Crumholtz Realtor on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching today. And I think we're going to do a warehouse visit to, yes, the, um, to the shop, to the shop uh, as one of our next videos. So stay tuned. Yay. Thank you. Bye.